Hey y'all, this is Rebecca with Farmhouse at Meadow Hill. Let's go yard selling today. Before we get started, I just want to welcome you if you're new here at FAM. My name is Rebecca. I do a lot of thrift with me and home decorating. Come along with me as I look for items to flip. I hope you consider subscribing to my channel and if you ring the bell, you'll get notified every time I post a new video. I did not film during my yard sale visit because I find it too distracting and I want to focus on my searches instead of my camera. So I'll show you what I found from each yard sale. The first yard sale we came up on was this young couple. They were just setting up, but invited us to come on over and look. She told me she was downsizing her farmhouse decor and that they had just adopted their first baby. Her prices were beyond reasonable. And this is what I picked up from this sale. I fell in love with this little wood wagon and it has um, metal wheels and how adorable would it look uh, on a porch or a back deck with a few plants setting in it and maybe you could be creative with it. She had $3 on this neg kale barrel, and as you can see, some of the prices they're going for. All of this is going to go in my booth eventually, and then i seen this little metal. Just all the chippiness on this is just perfect. Paint it the right color, and she just wanted a dollar for that. The next sale we came up on was a church yard sale and they had a few things on the outside but you could also go on the inside and this is the only thing i found it was very crowded in there a lot of clothes but i got this for five dollars and if you wanted to buy one from some country store you would pay fifty dollars the next sale we came upon we had to walk up under her little carport she had a sign on her door and she said no soliciting she said, we're too broke to buy anything. We know who we're voting for, and we've already found Jesus. Please go away. <laughs> Coming up on this yard sale, I knew to put my camera away, and I really wanted to concentrate on what I wanted to pick up, and I found all sorts of items here. I just knew it was going to be a good one. And you guys know I was looking for a ladder back chair to go in my office. Well... I got three for $12. And can you pick out the one that I'm going to keep? And these are just really great color. Uh, everything is just great about them. So found two vintage ironing boards. And I think the one on the left, the small one, might have been redone, but I got those for $15 for the pair. This beautiful little chalkboard I thought might be something I could use in my booth to uh, create a sale or put it up for sale. These are the small items that I picked up. Of course, the crock and the daisies are mine, but I picked up the little rooster kitchen balance. It's a better homes and garden. Uh, the little flag on the stand in a primitive style the two canisters and all of this needs cleaning up it's just as it is when i bought it and i loved that little etched glass vase and if you just curious on how to clean those up guys uh, along with the bottles over here you can't get a bottle brush in it is salt water warm salt water will clean them up and that is an old Clorox bottle that I found, and I'm keeping that one. It's going in my uh, farmhouse-style laundry room, and I got another one, the smaller one, that goes with it. And $3 on all of the vintage cookie cutters back there, also that's in just a little wooden crate. And I pick up the yarn anytime I find some yarn. The little lettuce set, $5 for it. And just the salt and pepper alone would sell for $15. And I'm not crazy about the bear, but I fell in love with the spool for $2. And 
And all of this was a dollar to two dollars. This set over here was two dollars, and everything else was about a dollar. The spool, and I'm going to take that bear off of it and clean it up a little. I really just want the spool. And then down here, I found a little ornate picture frame, and I thought about doing something with that. I don't know. I just love the way it looks. And the gold isn't so bad, you know, I may just put it in the booth and let somebody else do what they want with it. And the juicers, the glass ones are hard to find and you can see that those go anywhere on eBay. They have sold for 16 to $25 and I got three of those for $5. You guys know I was looking for a set of uh, ice cream cuts to maybe do a summer sideboard. And I used to have a set of these, sort of like this, it, you know, that I served my children when they were small, and I got rid of them about two years ago, and now I want them back. Anyway, I found four of those for $2, and I'm happy to get those, and I'm keeping those. Some of the small items might actually be listed in my Poshmark closet, and that closet is called Pink Spruce, and you can see my name and my picture. You'll find that, and I have all kinds of items listed there, but I may put some of these smalls in there until I open the booth. I'm not sure, but you can go over and check it out. I'll put that link in the description box below. So let's move on to the next one. This next one, we happen to be coming around the curve, heading towards home and seeing this big yard sale sign. And you know, when my heart was racing, when we came up on this, I seen this big barn and I thought, oh, this is gonna be hours of fun. But unfortunately it wasn't in the barn there on the left. It was just under the carport. And they had also run their sale yesterday and so, you know, it was sort of slim pickings, but this is what we were able to find. So, uh, the only two things, it was such slim pickings, but I love this platter. It is made in China. It's not an iron stone, but I loved all the detail on this and the massive size that this platter is how beautiful it would look on a stand uh, on a hutch and then you could put another plate in front of it or maybe a plant and how beautiful would that be and then we just found this metric uh, yardstick uh, my husband picked that up just a vintage one and we paid two dollars for the platter and a dollar for the uh, yardstick and that's what we found at that one. But we made new friends and they're close enough to be close neighbors. So it's always a good thing that you go out and meet uh, some of your neighbors. Although they live maybe three or four miles away from us, they're still neighbors, guys. She did tell us that she sets up for the world's longest yard sale, which is August 3 through 6 of 2023 this year. And this is 690 miles of a, a yard sale route from Michigan all the way down to Alabama. And we're going to try to attend this year. This next yard sale, I was so impressed with her landscaping. It was just so beautiful. I did find this stack of five shells for $5 and also found a galvanized lantern that I thought would be great to go in the booth. Lanterns are always great to decorate any time of the year. Last but not least, this young lady was telling us that she and her husband were newlyweds and although they didn't have a lot for us to choose from, this is one thing that I did find. If any of you listened to my story while making the wreath about the country birds, uh, this is what I bought this for to go on the back deck. And if it won't scare the life out of me one day, I don't know. Well, folks, that's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, be sure and give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Be sure and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. 
See you in my next one. Bye.